what we will be talking about is acting and we're going to be talking about new playwrights because they're local playwrights is that correct that's right vivian huang and we have patrick white and judy landers with us Thanks. yeah yeah um this is our ninth annual short play fest at confetti stage and um, it's the eighth year that it's featured only local plays by what local a, playwrights. Who reads all these plays? We have a, a very dedicated committee of five to six people who, who read all the submissions that okay, we get good. in each year and then whittle it down to, uh, we've had anywhere between six to I believe 10 maybe at some point, but this year we actually have eight plays. Um, I can't, it's so festival. hard to believe that there's that many playwrights in the area. I mean novice playwrights, you know, but good playwrights. Absolutely, yeah. and they're, they're coming from all over. We have Albany and Troy and Averill Park, Clifton Park, all the way to Columbia County. Um, so it's a, a really broad range um, or a wide, wide range of... Now, is there only three plays being performed? Eight. Eight, eight plays. plays. Okay, but we're representing night. three plays. Yes, we're actually right. all in three different... It's three different, different plays. Different so let's start out with Judy. What, what's your Hi. play? Uh, Agnes Agnes's birthday? Agnes's birthday. Okay. I play Agnes and two of my friends celebrating my birthday with me, played by um, Peggy Perone and Kathleen Engelhart. Okay. And the play's written by Val Cavanaugh, a local playwright. And, and what's, it, what's it about? Well, it's about celebrating my birthday, and we've tried to do it the last three years, and something always happens. But there's a big surprise with this birthday. Whoa, okay, that's the, the carrot. Absolutely. We're hanging that carrot out there. And Patrick, you are in Bookmark? I am in Bookmark, and it's by a local actor, Steve Hennel, who is a member of Confetti Stage. I've acted with him. So it, it's, uh, you know, he's done uh, other plays in the past that have been at previous Confetti Fest. But um, if not primarily a playwright, also as uh, an actor, someone writing a play, you get to find out so much more about theater and about how plays work and you know mm -hmm. what makes a play. And you know, my play is called Bookmark, and it's about um, uh, I'm in it with uh, Joe Kelly. It's about a, a writer in his declining years who has a series of science fiction fantasy books like Game of Thrones, and uh, he's on his last one, and he needs help finishing it, um, not just to finish the book series, but also because there's a movie studio that needs it to uh, to continue. Pushing him along. That's right, and so I'm a ghostwriter who comes in to help him finish oh, the damn. series. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, are these full-length plays, or are they? It's a, it's a full-length, one-act one act play. One-act play. Yep. Okay. Vivian, uh, what is, your play is called Mirror Bowl? Mirror Bowl. What it's an written, odd name. Yes, it's it's an odd little piece, too. Okay. <laughs> um, it's written by Sunny Da Silva and directed by Linda Shirey and Sheila O'Shea. Um, and it's, it's a story of two people. Um, so I'm one of two beings in this play, along with Matthew Side, um, who I've worked with before um, on shows. And it's about the decline or the last minutes of a relationship. Oh, okay. And it's about two beings, two people who just are not connecting um, on what they want for themselves and what they want for the relationship. And it's about um, how, how those last few minutes um, can go so intensely for, mm -hmm. for a couple. What, um, where, where are these gonna be performed? Because we, we really want people to get out there and support local playwrights because, you know, there's nothing like, you know, getting an idea, putting it on paper, seeing actors do it, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. And seeing it on stage and then hearing <laughs> at the end. I mean, this is, it's gotta be incredible for a playwright. Please support these people that are doing such great, um, creative work, the actors, the playwright, everybody. Uh, so tell us when and where. Um, it's going to be running uh, starting this weekend on the 18th, and we run for three shows this weekend and then run three shows next weekend. Um, it's uh, Friday through Sunday this week and Thursday through Saturday next weekend. Now, when they're one-act plays, are there three in, in every show, three plays, or how yeah. does that work? All for eight plays in one night. You do so all eight Nowhere plays. else are you going to see eight <laughs> plays for, for $15 in one night. <laughs> I, did, I wondered how you were going to do yes. that. 
Yes. So it's, hey, oh my God. it's a packed night and there's something for everybody. How do you do the sets with eight plays? Um, very chairs, moose chairs, table. Quickly. Yes, yeah. very quickly. Do them quickly. Yes. Everybody, <laughs> and this is one of the wonderful things about Confetti Fest. I really feel like it's a true community effort. You have playwrights who act, you have, you know, directors who are helping with sets, you have um, or directors helping with tech and everything. So everybody pitches in and helps so that it runs as smoothly as it can. And my um, usual question is, Judy, how long have you been acting? One year. <laughs> really? One year. And she's fantastic. I started That's taking it. acting classes with Laura Lee Eccabelli at the Sage Theater Institute, um, Discover the Actor Inside, and I fell in love with it. And Patrick, I should even ask how long he's yeah. been doing it. He's been doing it since he was two years old. No, in the school. womb. High school. <laughs> High school. No, um, thirty years. Yeah, been a long time. Yeah. I've seen you on stage. You are just, you have a presence on stage, <laughs> doesn't right. he? He does. <laughs> yes. Uh, Vivian, how about you? Um, since I was little, um, but this is uh, my fifth year with Confetti Stage, and this is my sixth Confetti Fest, actually. So it's yeah. one of my favorite. Do you have a projects. background in uh, theater? Um, not a formal just, formal background. It's just something that I've always loved yeah. being part of the performing arts. Some people have an innate ability, you know, to kind of know that it's in them mm -hmm. and they want to get it out. And uh, to me, the most and I've been on stage. The most daunting thing is getting the script. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, that's true. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you got to memorize all this. It's yeah, like you know. So you kids, when you have to. Memorize the Gettysburg Address, that ain't nothing. <laughs> We've been uh, speaking with Vivian Huang and also Patrick White, and Patrick's been on the show a number of times, and also uh, Judy Landers, and they're all performing in three plays, and you are going to get to see eight plays in one evening, and you are going to get your fill of theater, and you are going to be able to applaud those new playwrights and have a great time. Albany Masonic Hall, it's over on, is it called? 67 Manhattan? Corning Place. Corning Place, Corning, yes. that's it, good. Check it out. This coming weekend, and is it just one weekend or two weekends? Two weekends. Two weekends. Two weekends. You got an opportunity to see it. Let me t thank you all for being here thank today you. and enjoying the llama with us. Yeah. We just never know. <laughs>